moved out of heaven and the fall of man in the garden of Eden, the earth was full of evil and darkness. God had a plan to restore order in a chaotic world. He used ordinary people like most of us to fulfill his extraordinary plan. One person he used was a young girl named Mary. Mary was a descendant of Israel's greatest kings, David. He had been carefully, she had been carefully trained in the scripture and loved God and wanted to serve him with all her heart. One day as Mary was just going around doing her task, she was surprised by an unusual visitor an angel of the Lord, the angel said to her, Greetings to you all who are highly favored. God is with you. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have been found favored with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son. And you are, no, are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. But Mary was puzzled from the words of the angel because she was pure, a virgin, and not married. The angel answered, had to stretch her faith. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, her relative, is going to have a child in her old age. And she was said to be barren in her sixth month, for nothing is impossible with God. I am the Lord's servant. May your word to me be fulfilled. And of course she goes and she visits with her cousin Mary. And one of the incidents that really comes to mind is that they said that as they were rejoicing one day, that the baby to be born leaped in the mother's womb. Oh, what joy it had to have brought to Elizabeth to know that she was going to have a child and to Mary knowing that she was selected and was special and had found favor with God. Mary was very near of the end of her pregnancy when the news came to Nazareth that Caesar had decreed that everyone had to go to the town of their family came from to be enrolled for tax purposes. Both Joseph and Mary had to go because both were descendants from King David and they had to go to Bethlehem, David's city. It was a journey of about 90 miles, about three to four day journey. 